finding articles for Bio 30 EG. In order to find articles, you need to use a library database. So we're going to demonstrate this using Web of Science. So from your desktop, use your web browser. If you're on campus, this will automatically go into the portal. Select the Resources tab. and then select the A to Z list of online resources. This is all the uh, access to all the databases that Stirling University Library has. So we're interested in Web of Science, so we choose W. And then this takes us to all the databases that we have that begin with the letter W. As you can see, Web of Science is here. I gives you more information and then there are other symbols and these are the key to the symbols. So let's select Web of Science. Web of Science is part of the Web of Knowledge Gateway. There are many different databases from this gateway but we're looking at the Web of Science database. Web of Science covers all the citation indexes and the conference proceedings indexes as well. As we're only interested in biological information, we're just going to look at the Science Citation Index. So we'll deselect all the other databases. As part of your uh, assignment, you're only looking for articles in 2013. So you would change the date at this point to the 2013. And that would find any articles published in the most recent year. In my example, I'm just looking for articles in 2010. So now let's go up to the search box. So I'm looking for everything to do with sexual dimorphism. And as we saw earlier, I've identified different words to search on. So I'm looking for the phrase sexual dimorphism, and I've put those two words in quotes so it finds that phrase with those words together and in that order. Then I'm looking for or and another phrase that means the same thing, so sexually dimorphic, or and then morphological differences. And I've enclosed all of those phrases in quotes. At this point you could also use truncation if you were looking for a particular word so any word that began with the same letters and you truncate it at a particular point to find all the words that begin with those letters. And you do that by using the asterisk symbol. We're looking for everything to do with a particular subject. So we're looking in the topic field. So we then click on search. So I've found 1200 results. Now, each of your assignments are very broad categories, so it is suggested that you search for a particular species. So in my case, I'm looking for damselflies. Now, I can truncate this word because I'm looking for damselfly or damselflies. So now this is combining the damselfly search with the sexual dimorphism idea. So I've now narrowed my search down to three results. Let's look at the first paper, just to see the structure of a paper within um, Web of Science. So this is the title. We've got Ecology of Sexual Dimorphism and Clinal Variation of Coloration in a Damselfly. You can see that it has highlighted all the search terms. So we've got sexual dimorphism and damselfly or damselflies highlighted throughout this record. We've got the authors, Cooper IA, the source, this is the journal within which this article was published. So it's the American Naturalist and it gives you all the details that you need to use to be able to find that article. Let's leave out time cited and cited references. Let's go to the abstract next. This is a summary of the article. And this, in fact, is a very good article on sexual dimorphism. Then there are some more fields for uh, details about where the author uh, 
is based keywords database um, in the O2 cited references. This is the number of references that Cooper included in her article in order to write that article. And it is useful sometimes to look at um, these references because there is an assumption that they are on a similar subject. And you may want to look at those references to, to see whether you agree with her interpretation of these references. And I think that is part of the assignment to actually look for other references similar to your article. The time cited tells you how many articles have actually included Cooper's article in their list of references. So it's going forward in time. Let's select those article, the 12th article, because it is actually a dispatch article. And this is the example that I showed you earlier, which is an example of a very good dispatch article. As the Cooper article has already been cited by a dispatch article, I cannot use this reference in the assignment. So let's go back to the results list for the three. Since we cannot use the first uh, article by Cooper because it's already been cited in a dispatch article. Let's look at the second article, Empirical Evidence of Senescence in Adult Damselflies. I want to show you Czech Webbridge. As you to include the article that you are working on, your focus article, it's useful to know how to find the full text of that article. Webbridge locates the full text for you, so it will show full text and give you a hyperlink from where you will find the full text. If that doesn't show up, use the library catalogue option to search on the library catalogue for the title of the journal as well. So let's go into the full text link. This then brings up the record for the article in Journal of Animal Ecology. And we then just select get PDF to actually get um, the full text of the article. When you're finished with using Web of Science, you leave the system by clicking on Log Out.